Okay guys, let's get right into this tutorial. So now I'm in Canva. If you don't have Canva, just go to canva.com and you can either try it for free or you can get the pro. I have the pro. But anyway, we're going to go into um, creating a planner. Now I've gone into Canva and I've gone into the search bar and I've searched up planner. Now the great thing about that is that there are a lot of templates here that you guys can utilize. But if you're on the free um, trial, you're not going to be able to use any of this because they are uh, these ones are pro um templates but something like this you can utilize okay now if you want to use an existing template you can totally go for it i would open one up for you guys so you guys can see but we're gonna go and create a new planner all together all right okay so here is the blank page so this is what the template would look like if you wanted to create using an existing template you're just going to go click um, customize template and it will bring you in here and you can edit it as you deem please um and obviously over here if you go to element actually if you go to design you can see other designs that you guys can decide to utilize now the great thing about a planner is you can create a planner for anything and for social media there's a planner for projects there's a planner for fitness there's a planner for you know a wide variety of things but i want but what i want you guys to do is to create something that is a bit more comprehensive so that way people who want to buy a planner will find more value in it so if you create a planner that has a combination of like daily plans and weekly plans and it has some fitness stuff in there and it has some goal setting stuff in there i think that would be absolutely amazing so for this tutorial we're going to go ahead and create a um, let's say we're going to create a, a weekly planner okay here's how we're going to structure our planner so the first thing i want you guys to do is we're going to add a text and when you want to add text you're just going to go to the left here and we're going to say this is monday i'm just only going to write monday i'm not going to write a date or time or nothing like that because we want this to be flexible it could be monday march the 7th monday march the 7th um, 10th nobody really knows so we're just going to put monday up here and then i'm going to duplicate this and we're going to fix the font later on and we're just going to say date and we're just going to allow the user input their own date in here so we're going to then add if you go to elements you can utilize the lines here so i'm going to drag a line and i'm going to put it right here okay yes, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put another line here which i'm going to take off later on but i'm going to use this to find my center while i work because i want this to be fully centered okay so that's in the middle i'm going to drag this all the way so i just want to know where the center is so i'm just going to say this is now this line is a bit thick i'm going to go here to line size so now it's thinner okay now i'm going to add and again we're going to edit this much later to make it look pretty but for now i'm just adding all of the sections that i want i'm going to add to do list so my to-do list for the day i'm going to duplicate this over here we can add um See, that's the affirmation of the day and here I'm gonna add a little box um, we're gonna go to elements and you can utilize this box you're gonna move that up we're gonna reshape it and one of the two things that you can do is you can either input an affirmation in here for your buyer or you can allow them to put in their own affirmation so for this case, I'm going to change this. I'm going to change this here. I'll go here and I'll add the change the color to white. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the border style. I'll click on that and then I will click on the type of border that I wanted to have. So now it's done something like this. Now it's like that. So like I said, you can either add an affirmation of the day for your buyer or you can 
let, leave it as a box so that they can write one for themselves. It's up to you. But for this one, I'm going to add something. Okay, so let's say that's the affirmation for the day. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to go here and put my schedule. Okay, so now I have my schedule. And like I said, we're going to make this look pretty later on. But for right now, we're just trying to get the basic structure. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a fitness goal. Let's say we add another box here. And we're going to call this... To black. You can change the text to white. Just for right now. And we can add a border to that. So the entire idea here is that you're creating this, um, you know, what you would like your buyers to experience for the day. Now the design would be really up to you guys in terms of what you want to do. Um, like I said, if you go over to designs, you can pick one of these and just edit it as you please. Or you can just start, uh, start from like the beginning like I'm doing right now. Okay. Anyway, so meal of the day. So let's say this is breakfast, gym, if you went to the gym or not. I mean, optional. And then we can add a checkbox. Let's see if we can find a checkbox. So checkbox right here. We can reduce that to what you would like. Let's see. Yes. We'll get this and then we'll say you know. Okay so i've gone ahead to make some changes here what i did was i edited the font to this font right here i think it was this one and what i also did was um i changed this to i made this a bit smaller as you guys can see so i'm not going to duplicate and recreate this just like i was doing before so this is seven this is eight and then we're just going to duplicate and you're make, going to make sure to change the the smaller you make it you know you're going to be able to fit in more dates in there so right now this is 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 we can leave it at that or you can make it bigger right now this is 8.6 um in terms of the font size Okay, another thing that I did here was I changed the color of my um, background from white to a very soft pink. Okay, you can also do that as well. And then, like I said, we're going to make this look a lot prettier as time goes by. Now I'm going to make this smaller, make this wider. And when you move this too as well, it helps you know what the center is. As you guys can see, I want to make sure that my alignment is to the left. For my to-do list, I can just go here. If I wanted to make this prettier as well, I can add another um, border here just to make it look like a table. Okay, so over here, instead of having to do this all over again, actually, I'm just going to copy this and we're just going to make a bunch of lines here. But I'm going to add a radio button. So I'm going to search radio button. And a radio button is just a circle like this. I'm going to reduce the size. So that I can have this as like a checkbox of the things that I want to do for the day. And then we can duplicate. Okay. 
here you can add another box here as um see let's call this one my top priority just copy this one instead of creating it all over again i'm just going to copy something that i already have so this is the day the date information of the day we have the schedule by time and then they have their health goal meal of the day they can write it here is are they going to the gym yes or no for the sake of this video i'm going to stop here in terms of designing the template but you guys get the idea of this right so i've showed you guys you can pick different fonts you can use a radio button you can use check boxes you're going to use the lines so now that you have monday right like i said we're creating one for the week all you have to do is duplicate this and change the date to tuesday right you can duplicate this seven times and they will have monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday so they will have one for each day of the week and the only thing you're going to change in terms of the um for this template would be you're going to change the affirmation of the day so you're going to write a new affirmation so this one could be i am loved the next one would be i'm going to have a great day today you know those are things that you can change for each template and it's just going to be for one week and the great thing about this like i said this they can use this week after week after week because the date is blank so they can go in and just pick the tuesday of what date that is to them that they're needing to use the temp planner for and yeah that's how you guys create that now the next thing you guys are going to do obviously would be you're going to download this as a pdf which i've shown several times on my channel you go to share and you're going to click download and you're going to click download as a pdf standard you can do pdf print as well but i usually just do pdf standard once you go to pdf standard you're going to go in all the way to your um if you're going to be selling this on etsy you're going to go to etsy you're going to add it as a digital product and that's you're good to go you can also sell this on shopify um by selling digital downloads i'm going i've already created a video on how to do that i'm going to Put it in the description or link it somewhere in the video up here you guys can go check that out as well but yeah this is how you guys can create a planner this is like a daily planner to help people plan their day okay guys i hope you guys um enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye